worldly YouTube, true crime tale of and everything else. Today I'm gonna go over a little bit of the Maura Murray case. Um, due to the fact that I looked up a hotel, which mind you is haunted as heck. Gonna see what I can do to try and get out there. I don't uh, baloney. Yeah, dang it. This thing's still on. Goofing up. I don't know how this light's gonna be. Make this light for your videos and it's bright as hell. Let me see something here. Yeah, yeah. Got it in my little workshop. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> Dim that sucker. Oh, that's what I need to do. Dim it. I'm going to blind myself. Damn thing can be bright. It can be bright because I use this light not only to do videos, but to do my leather work. <clears throat> Anyways. The Great Hall, Mount Washington. I believe this is one of the places that the uh, Maura, uh, the, the Murray family used to go to because it's Brenton Woods. <clears throat> so I'm, I shot, screenshot it, did a little mapping again. Because um, as you can see, here we have the Great Hall and here we have Route 112. <clears throat> now it is said that Maura Murray was on her way to New Hampshire to find a, uh, so, so, say, room to rent. Going to get out to get to a little getaway. Personally, like I say, I believe that she maybe was going to meet somebody. <clears throat> her, you know, relationship with her boyfriend supposedly wasn't great on the rocks, but yet her last text before she disappeared talking about she'll talk to her hunk of a guy later. Um, regardless or not, you know, they uh, supposedly cheated on each other or whatnot. That guy was at least 2,000 miles away crossed in mid-state, like near Texas. And some say that, oh yeah, he could have been the killer. But yeah, how do you fly in from Texas to look for your girlfriend and have time to kill her too? Just nonsense. And like I say, it's been a while since I got on this case because, right, I've covered as much as I could. But it's just this <clears throat> certain thing that baffles me. <clears throat> and once again, <clears throat> damn it, excuse me, is that red pickup. You know, I had a YouTube subscriber, Thunderbolt, um, literally <clears throat> would send me stuff, very, you know, interesting stuff. I'd cover it, go over thoughts and theories and ideas, of course, and write. Um, but, you know, I, we do good as a team, of course, and I think a lot of times, you know, having a YouTube channel, you should consist of, right, getting into a team form, especially with your fans, because, yeah, sometimes they come up with stuff, sometimes you will come up with stuff, sometimes you combine it together, you get a better idea. And that's like I always say, and I'm going to continue to say, just like the bands, they are nothing without the fans. And that goes well into the YouTube nation, as they call it. I like to call it world of YouTube because I want to be worldwide and right have all cultured fans here. But anyways... <clears throat> There's one thing I just 
that really baffles me too on this case is not only is the red pickup truck needing to be found, and that's the only thing that I can think of that I want to see done. I still got to get in touch with that person that contacted me a while back to see if any, and give them, that person, some more um, thoughts, theories, ideas on my, because <clears throat> I came up with stuff that I thought about that I did not say, but, you know, whatever. But anyways, what is most baffling is that she was looking into this Brenton, and then if you go out this way, into Vermont, just using that as a direction, there was another place she looked into. And so to say, I would speak that she was going to go to this Brenton Woods um, hotel. But what baffles me the most and there, I believe there is some roads that, you know, do kind of, come on, I should say run off into this direction, right? But why in the world would she be going up 93 when she can cut over and bang right to the motel, just go, whoop, hey, let's go this way. Route 112. Just that right there is the most baffling question of the whole damn case. <clears throat> Why is she, I mean, I think there was something over here, another maybe hotel in Lincoln. I mean, I've gone over this before, and uh, maybe she was going that way. I think it's in that area, maybe, but um, whatever the case may be, right, you have this all this um, directions in places that she looked at, and why, right, question, did she get off Route 112? You could sit here and think of many, many, like I just said, there could have been a couple roads, a shortcut it there, maybe, maybe, or the person that she was supposed to meet maybe led her in that direction, because I do think, you know, something had to have been led, or in a conversation to have her take a route, you know, that her family used to always go to a place and just take a route off, you know, direction. Makes no sense. But not only that, I also want to show... Because that, once again, comes up to mind. And that is the Salvation Armies. And, um... Wait, 90, 93, right. So, 93... And of course, she was, and that's another thing, she was coming from, you know, the uh, Springfield area, which is in here, and she ends up on 93, way over here. So, I mean, yeah, I believe there is a way Route 112 does lead somewhere into this. But... Oh, she's going to go up here to that say-so hotel, which leads out that way to Vermont. But bang, stride tracks that way, but yet goes in another route and doesn't go up to the hotel area. <clears throat> but another thing that baffles me is, right, the Salvation Army. As you can see, there is locations in New Hampshire, and there is, bang. One, two, and three. This one at the top being the closest to where she was abducted. And that being said, 
and over here, you can see the Salvation Army, like I said, here. The closest one, and you go scrolling up. Once again, I did this, but I'm doing it again. And there you go. You got Route 12, Salvation Army. Route 12 is up here. That's Route 12, so... And they say that she binged the tower near the Salvation Army. On her phone, and, the, and a message came from that to her boyfriend, sobbing. But yet, none, none, of, this, none of this, whoa, stop. You know, doesn't, it just, <laughs> nothing, nothing. And I guarantee for a goddamn fact that that was the red pickup truck. I don't believe there was no surveillance. And I do believe, of course, that Salvation Army was closed. So whatever the guy had to do, maybe take a leak. Stop there. Because it's closed. But I believe, right, he maybe could have been going through back roads and everything just to not be seen or whatnot and stop there because it was the closest urge to take yourself and relieve yourself. But, you know... It's just insane. Just insane. And the main question, too, is why would she... Oh, well, no, there's Lincoln. Shoot. So maybe that... I'm trying to think where that other hotel I heard of it was in Lincoln. And Lincoln's right there, so... That's where Lincoln is. I'm about to wonder if it maybe could have been out here somewhere. And she had three choices. I forget how that went, but still... Whatever the case may be, why would she go on the Route 12? And yet, and yet, the car was facing say so this way, and she was traveling this way. So, If that is the case, that hotel on Route 112, maybe I think there was one there. I can't even have to look back up on that, but that's the only thing I can think of her traveling Route 12. So she went there, nothing, didn't want to go there, or this person maybe was texting I can't even say texting her because the phone didn't say nothing. But she was supposed to, I think, no, that's what I think. She was supposed to meet somebody somewhere. These three points... And, um, for some reason, you know, maybe she was getting second thoughts. Maybe she got nervous. Or, like I say, she was being followed. And when that accident happened, I also believe that she was being followed by the red pickup truck. And that might have just been like a, and what had happened, I think he could have ran her off the road waited to see if cops would come quick, but in the meantime, you know, oh, do you need a lift? Not telling her who he is, being the person I think she wanted to go meet. But there was no evidence of online, I believe, chatting, but still, I don't, I don't know. I don't buy that. All in all, like I said, in this friggin' case, but as you can see, you know, picking her up, driving off down here, or, or one of these back roads do go and lead down further down Route 93. And then, boom, gonna head down back to Mass, because that's where he came from. That's where the uh, witness said the plate was from. And then by getting to the Salvation Army, yeah, realizing this girl's starting to, oh, get spooked, or maybe he knocked her out or chloroformed her. And then she was waking up drowsy, because maybe he did not use enough. That's what I think. It's true. This is one of them cases, just like the Brandon Lawson case that I, no, not Lawson, sorry, Swanson. Pretty funny, Lawson, Swanson, Brandon, <laughs> That is just going to drive you insane.
until it gets solved, and I don't believe it's going to get solved, because, right, I do got to do an update on that person, though, like I said, who called me. And I got to see if they want any more information, or what I gave them was any good. But, um, check out my Maura Murray videos, and you'll see an insanity of um, findings. Yep. It's just nuts. This case, let alone, is nuts. In any case where someone just disappears off the face of this earth is nuts. Because there's always something behind it. And there's always, basically, someone behind it. But, man. <laughs> Like I said, I haven't heard nothing from Thunderbolt in over a year. That's how, you know, far I've dug deep into this case and gave every possible theory. Some say that the uh, brother-in-law did it, even Thunderbolt. But now he's, you know, wheel-bound in a wheelchair was the last thing I heard about him. But, you know, Andy had a red pickup. And... And if that was the case, was it ever searched? And I haven't heard nothing on that. Where did it go? Why didn't they search it in the beginning? Like I said, that if I was a state true or any law enforcement, I'd have friggin' had an East Coast New England search for that truck. Up and down from Maine to Connecticut, Rhode Island, Vermont, all over. Big circle. That would have been not just New Hampshire, everywhere. Be to find that damn truck. And that would have been my main priority. The searches led up to nothing. The searches led the dogs of her getting into a vehicle. That vehicle was the red truck. That vehicle should have been searched. Now it could be, you know, who knows if junkyards got records. I might take a look into that. I would think, hopefully, they'd keep records, but I'm going to call to find out if they do keep anything that long. Or, if they did hear about, that's another thing, if they were heard about a case like this, you would think that if someone brought in a sidestep red pickup, they'd Oh, oh, this guy brought one in. Oh, maybe we should save that just in case. Or, or junkyards, regardless, should save any records. Because when you bring in a car to a junkyard, you need a title. And if you don't need a title, you need a name, you need an address, you need your license. I've dealt with it before. And that's right. You need, They document it. And I think if it's not done yet, I'm sh maybe it is, but I'm going to say it. Junkyards, I would save every goddamn piece of, you know, right. Put it all in the computer bank and save it. Don't throw it out, even though if it's been 10 years. Give you something to think about, because if it's something happened back in that time and you got someone that brought someone in, there you go. Check out the records. I would, and I would advise any junkyard to do that. But... You know, got to get that red pickup. That's the only thing in this case. That's the only damn thing in this case that still remains not searched properly. Sorry, not searched properly. Shame on law enforcement. Till the next video, be safe, take care. Always beware, because this guy is still out there. The 112 Dirt Bag. Mm -hmm. Still watching you, boy. <laughs> Out.